Take a brief moment to speak with you regarding the recent announcement from Governor Kelly. How does that impact us here in Caney and what does the next month look like for us? And a little bit longer now as we talk about returning to school. So we'll get right into it. First and foremost, uh, we were set to release this yesterday afternoon, but again, we need to modify slightly um, given what we know with the announcement. But as you can see, uh, the beginning July 14th through 15th here, we have received guidance from uh, Governor Kelly, Kansas State Board of Education, and KSDE uh, to release basically an overview guidance recommendations on how we would operate schools. Um, yesterday, that was slightly changed. Uh, as we know, Governor Kelly announced that all Kansas schools will delay opening until after Labor Day. Um, she's hopeful, as we are as well, again, like many across the state, that we will start to see that decline needed to safely reopen our schools as we begin to transition back this academic school year. In that announcement, we know there were things that were pointed out, certain uh, items, safety that's going to be put into place, such as social distancing, uh, temperatures, um, we anticipate mass gatherings, uh, of course, masks, and uh, a lot of questions will come out of that as far as trying to understand what the implications are and what that will look like. We do have uh, some general guidance that we believe will really help shape that, but we won't know certain until Monday with the exact language of that executive order. So what does the next few days look like for us here in Caney? Um, well, administration, we've been actually working since uh, I'm not sure that we've stopped since summer's really started, but I'll say at least since June, um, trying to formulate a plan to make sure that we address concerns and mitigate all those things that we can do to create the safest environment possible for our students. So today, actually, we're meeting with Montgomery County officials to review this document that we've received from KSDE. I'm sure we'll discuss at hand what the uh, governor's implications on that as well, and how does that impact us here in Montgomery County? From the 20th to the 22nd, we'll have lead teams, um, again, representatives of the buildings, uh, myself, principals that would begin to look at our locally plan, our locally developed plan, and how that meets and overlays with the state document along with the uh, executive order from Governor Kelly. So good meshing to see how do those overlay, what do we need to adapt and adjust. And then the perhaps the most important part is seeking feedback from the parents and community as we begin to develop this plan, because ultimately we have to develop what is best for us in Caney, uh, for our bullpup family, and to make sure that we're uh, meeting those needs and concerns that are out there that I know will ultimately come up. So our ultimate goal is that on July 27th, we would have a special board meeting uh, where the committee, uh, the feedback, all of that would be taken into account and a final, um, and, and I hate to even use final plan because as evidence just from yesterday, this could change day by day. Um, in fact, um, it, it, I anticipate it will, but again, at that point, I will say that the plan that we have on July 27th um, will be fully recognizable to look at all the issues that we have uh, with the knowledge that we have in front of us at that time. So again, we'll submit that for the board, look for their approval, and begin to plan uh, through the month of August now to see how we can make sure um, we create the best environment possible for our students here in Caney. And so just a sneak peek of the uh, guidance document that we received from KSDE. I think that's important. Um, this was over a thousand pages um, that was given to us. Again, these were all recommendations put together by the best and brightest across the state. Um, had input from not only educators, but also health officials and many other leaders around to create some very, um, very good overview of implications of certain things that we would need to look into and really help us begin to develop that plan uh, as we move forward. But again, as you can imagine, trying to digest a thousand pages in a short amount of time, um, those few weeks that Governor Kelly has now given us to begin to really dive into this, I truly believe will help us out overall. 
So operations, this is really what I believe a lot of the community will be wanting to know about. Um, it's, it's something that's important to us, obviously, because it sets the tone for how we're going to approach school, how we ensure the safety of our students, and what that'll look like. Again, many of these items may be impacted by Governor Kelly's executive order as far as recommendations turn into mandatory items that we will uh, adhere to as well as um, getting a clear understanding of, of what those may be. So let's just hop forward and look at a couple um, things that we know uh, that are going to be out there. Face coverings is one of those questions that's there. And again, that's a that's a best practice that's advised as it goes through there. Um, there are recommendations and guidance regarding the difference between younger kids and older. And so that will obviously be something that will be taken into consideration. And we feel like we'll have some guidance on that from Governor Kelly very soon. What happens, you know, with students that have uh, symptoms of COVID and what does that look like? Again, this isn't unlike any other um, sickness that we have as far as how we handle that. We know that right now we, we ask for your child to be fever free before they return. That's that's not going to be anything that's going to change. Um, so those things, again, are that are already in place that ensure safety of our students from not just COVID, but from other uh, illnesses are, are still going to be there. And so. Uh, that, that's one thing to keep in mind that a lot of the things that we are doing and that we already have in place uh, have been there. They're not additional things, uh, but there will be things that will look different um, when we look at that. And you will see um, fully anticipate staff and students in some type of personal protective equipment. Um, again, that can vary from age to age and what that may look like, um, but we know that hygiene, um, that's going to be a huge thing for us. So again, continuing washing hands, having those breaks to make sure that um, if we have the opportunity to be in an open air environment or um, increase spacing, we're, we're going to look at that. And so those are things that we're going to be um, going through as well. But again, I, I'm just kind of guiding through here, uh, skipping just so you have a, a general understanding that there's a lot of things that are going to be in here. This is a public document. So if you're interested in getting your hands on that, that is available for anyone to see and to view. Um, it's right there on the State Department of Education. I can include that in the link with this video later for those that may be interested. But please understand that these are recommendations and guidance and that until we get Governor Kelly's feedback, um, actually, excuse me, not feedback, but her executive order, uh, we won't know exactly what that'll look like. So uh, for us, next couple of days, it's a little bit of a waiting game until Monday where we see what that will look like and then go from there uh, to begin again finalizing our local plan with this guidance document along with the executive order and putting out something uh, that we can solicit feedback from, from the community, patrons, students, everyone, to let us know uh, things that we may be overlooking, things that we want to make sure um, that we take into consideration. And again, uh, the ultimate goal is to create the best experience that we can, just like we always will every year, uh, for our Bullpup family, for our Pup Nation. That's the most important thing for us. So uh, with that, I just wanted to kind of give a brief hello. It's been a little while. Uh, give you a little overview on kind of what our timeline is like. Please keep close uh, eye on social media as we go through. Um, we'll be sending out those surveys again, looking at feedback from the community. We'll probably do it on small portions and pieces of it overall. That way we kind of have a, a good idea um, from the community regarding some of the guidance and things that we'll be putting in place. Uh, as always, we appreciate your continued support. Um, highly encourage you guys to take those precautions and help us slow that trend. As we see, it's it's been spiking ever upwards since uh, kind of the reopening. Um, and we're hoping to trend that back down, especially as we get closer and closer to the reopening of schools. And I can promise you that is the ultimate goal. Um, I don't know of an adult that's out there that says that they don't want kids back in schools. That is our goal, but we want to do that safely. Uh, we're ready for them. We miss them. I can I can speak on behalf of the entire uh, Bullpup family up here, all the teachers, staff, everyone um, from our amazing bus drivers, custodial food, uh, maintenance, uh, all of those support staff, teachers, Perez, um, our wonderful uh, individuals that are here. I promise you, each and every one of them uh, miss you. Uh, we're ready to see you back in the classroom. We're ready to do what we do best, which is work alongside you. Uh, to educate you to our best possible extent and to ensure that you receive an amazing experience here at USD 436 Caney Valley, home of the Bullpups. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and close out. 
Uh, as always, if you have questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out and to give us a quick email uh, or a shout. Find us uh, again on social media. Make sure you follow along as we begin to navigate this change as we work through this together. Um, but as I've said before, we're very blessed and lucky to be in a community like we are here in Caney um, because I have no doubt that we will rise to the challenge, that we will do this together uh, as a family, and that we will have an amazing and the best possible school year that we can provide uh, this coming year. Thank you very much. Have a great day.